Hi everybody, welcome to Sunya Yes and welcome back to the Environment Prelims Cash Course 2023. Today we are going to discuss topic number 9. In the topic number 9, we will be seeing the environmental organizations and the bodies. Okay, and this is an ongoing discussion on the Environment Prelims Crash Course, right? If you want to join the Prelims Crash Course, you may do so. Okay, so we are discussing bodies and organizations, right? And this you can definitely read about in different chapters. So there is a chapter on conventions, chapter number 25, okay, and chapter number 23 on environmental organizations, in addition to whatever we have covered in the lectures, right? Now we will see the questions. The number one question is on the convention on the migratory species, right? So the statements which are given are that this is the only global conference, right? So which is specializing in the conservation of migratory species. Okay, so this is true. Then we have the, by the way, this is also known as the Bond Convention. Okay. And additionally, UNEP provides secretariat services for this right second statement india is the current president of this so this is true in fact if you have followed the older current affairs gandhi nagar declaration okay for the cms happened in 2020 okay this was also important wherein the great indian bustard was made the mascot species so two is also correct statement number three great indian bustard and the bengal florican are included in the appendix one of cms okay so even this part is true that these are included here okay so here the answer becomes d one two and three all the statements are correct for the convention on migratory species now convention related questions are very common so here you have bond convention which we have seen just now this is convention for conservation of migratory species which can include avian marine and terrestrial species okay so all these kind of species are included here so here this is correct bond convention then you have a basal convention the basal convention talks about the transboundary movement of hazardous waste okay so this becomes wrong persistent organic pollutants are taken care of in the Stockholm Convention. Okay, so this is wrong. Rotterdam Convention talks about hazardous chemicals and pesticides. Yes, this is correct. So the question is asking you which of the following is correctly matched. Only two pairs are correctly matched. Okay. Next question. So you have traffic organization. Okay. So first of all, traffic is an NGO, one of the leading non-governmental organizations. Okay, which was formed due to the combined efforts of WWF and IUCN. So it is not UNEP, so you can cut this off. This is not correct. Since its founding, traffic has grown to become the world's largest wildlife trade monitoring program. Okay, so this is true. So this is that biggest NGO related to the wildlife crime, etc. That is fine. It works in collaboration with sites. Okay, so sites also is related to the trade of endangered species etc so here this is also correct okay so the question is asking us what is correct here statement number uh, question number three so statement number two and three is correct then the next question is on land degradation neutrality okay so the concept of ldn first emerged okay now at the 14th cop the question is talking about COP14. So this is not correct. So I'll tell you two things here. One, the concept of land degradation. And then there is a LDN fund. Okay. So land degradation neutrality simply means if let's say due to deforestation, etc. You've lost 20 hectares of land. And again, if you go for afforestation or if you restore that land, let's say you restore 20 hectares. So 20 minus 20 becomes zero. Okay. So whatever you've lost, you've regained that part that is known as land degradation neutrality. So the concept of LDN first emerged in Rio plus 20. Rio plus 20 happened in 2012. Okay. So this is where the concept first emerged. That is one thing we need to know. Okay. Then the second part you what 
is asking you LDN fund. Okay. Now the concept of LDN fund was spoken about in there was the COP 13 of UNCCD. Okay. Which happened in Ordos, China. This is where the concept of LDN fund came about. Right. Then this fund is managed by a private sector invest this uh, private sector investment management firm. This is true. This is how the fund is managed. So there are different donor agencies. There are different banks. But overall, it is managed by the private sector investment management firm. Right. Third statement is soil organic carbon is one of the three global indicators of LDN under CCD. So in total, there are three indicators. Okay. One is the trends in the land cover change. Land cover change. Second is land productivity, right? Land productivity dynamics. Overall, the name is right. And the third is soil organic carbon. So trend in the land cover change, land productivity dynamics and soil organic carbon. Okay. So it is one of the three indicators, soil organic carbon. True. So the question is asking you, which of the following is correct? So statement one was wrong. Okay, statement 2 and 3 is correct. So answer becomes B. 2 and 3 only. Then we have a coalition against wildlife trafficking. Okay, so what is this coalition talking about? So this is first statement intergovernmental coalition established. No, this is a voluntary. Okay, so it's a voluntary public private coalition. So it is not intergovernmental. In fact, it of course becomes an NGO in that matter. Okay. And again, the year also is wrongly mentioned. Year is actually 2005. Okay. So statement one becomes wrong. Statement two, it aims to improve wildlife law enforcement by expanding enforcement training, information sharing, etc. Yeah, this is true. So it talks about all of this. And then this coalition is going to complement sites. Yes, see, whenever we discuss wildlife crime, etc., so we talk about a lot of these initiatives. We definitely talk about sites, we talk about WWF, we talk about traffic, we talk of this CAWT, and not just this. In India, we will talk about Wildlife Crime Control Bureau. In overall Asia, etc., or South Asia, we can talk about SAVAN, okay, Wildlife Enforcement Network of South Asia, right. So all these bodies, etc. will go hand in hand, right? So even three is correct. So answer becomes C, two and three only. Now, the question is about Global Tiger Forum. Okay. The only intergovernmental and international body to save the tigers worldwide. Absolutely true. The assembly of Global Tiger Forum shall meet once in three years. Okay. This is also true, right? And one additional thing is that the Secretariat of the Global Tiger Forum is established in New Delhi. Okay. So question number six, the answer becomes C, both one and two is correct. Now next question is on Meena Mata Convention. So it talks about the control of transboundary movement of mercury. Okay. So this is true. Talks about this. Under this convention, India will phase out... <coughs> mercury based products from by 2022 okay now the year here is not correct okay we have uh, by the way right now we are in 2023 but you might have not heard about the phasing out by 2022 okay so basically the year is 2025 okay so this talks about how can uh, this phase out and actually the continued removal etc of mercury etc is going to happen so this is <coughs> how, like overall how to control the transboundary movement of mercury right so this becomes wrong statement three that this minamata convention talks about phasing out of existing mercury mines number one and it also talks about a ban on the new mercury mines as well okay so this is a part of it so this is true this convention is also including a ban on the new mines okay so this is why the answer becomes A, 1 and 3 only. Then there's a global climate change alliance. Okay, question number 8. Right. So number 1, 
the statement says initiative of world bank and wwf okay so this is absolutely wrong this initiative is by the european commission okay and what is the idea so that the cooperation between european union okay and the developing countries etc is better and this is with respect to of course as the name suggests climate change so european union will be assisting the developing countries to transition to climate change okay second this supports developing countries which are most vulnerable to climate change in implementing their nationally determined contributions right yes this is the basic idea here so for question number 8 the answer becomes this two only okay statement one is wrong because it is by the european commission but statement two is correct wherein this commission basically and the european union is assisting the developing countries okay next question talks about which of the following is not correct about united nations convention to combat desertification okay we are talking of combating desertification right sole legally binding international agreement okay for sustainable land management this is true right committed to a bottom up approach encouraging the participation of local people even this is true emphasizes on water harvesting techniques see it does not emphasize on something very particularly or specifically it talks about a host of measures right so overall this is not correct to reverse desertification it does not talk about water harvesting techniques okay it contributes to poverty re reduction yes this happens by arresting and reversing land degradation right so statement if you go through all the statements this statement 3 is more specific in nature and this is not directly spoken about by uncccd this is why this becomes wrong okay again we have already done concept related to land degradation neutrality and land degradation neutrality fund etc right and then the last question again this is a question which is one of the like very like this gives you good understanding of the conventions vienna convention is related to ozone layer this is true okay in fact vienna convention was followed by montreal protocol which again talks about ozone depleting substances and particularly chlorofluorocarbons which it banned okay rotterdam convention talks about imports of hazardous chemicals and pesticides yes this is true bond convention is yes migratory species even this is true basel convention is about transboundary movement of hazardous wastes okay whereas the persistent organic pollutants are spoken about in the stockholm we had seen a similar question earlier as well right so this is stockholm convention and basel convention is hazardous waste many people get confused between basel and rotterdam see basel is hazardous waste rotterdam is hazardous chemicals and pesticides okay so it's asking you which of the following is correctly matched only three pairs are correctly matched here okay so let us quickly see what all questions we have seen here we started the question with convention on migratory species then we saw matched few different conventions then we saw what is traffic what is land degradation neutrality right what is coalition against wildlife trafficking what is global tiger forum right what is mina mata convention what is global climate change alliance right then what is not correct about uncccd and again the last question on different conventions okay so here we have tried to quickly recap the different environmental organizations right conventions and bodies all right and again in in case those of you who want to rapidly cover your prelims for 2023 can avail the prelims crash course all right okay i think we've done this nine now i'll meet with the last worksheet discussion that is for the day 10 or the topic 10 all right so till then please keep revising okay all the very best thank you